YouTube, so I've decided to start up a new series where I talk to you guys about my solutions for how to fix bad makeup. Um, I feel like we've all had this experience where we've bought or received a beauty product and it's just not working for us. And I like to problem solve, I like to DIY things and figure out how to make things work. So I've got quite an extensive list. I was actually going to do all this in one video, but I've decided instead this needs to be a series. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to throw at you guys some suggestions of things that might work to help you fix these kind of products. I really quickly want to mention that I support returns above anything else. I know it's not always the case where we can return a product. Sometimes we buy something and it's final sale or some websites don't accept returns. But if you do have the ability to return something and it's just not working out for you, please do not feel guilty for returning a product. I feel like I've seen a lot of this um, persisting idea that you should not return a product because it's bad for the environment, it's bad for like filling landfills, and yeah, that's true, it is. Yes, it's true, when you return a product, it does go into the trash. But let's also back up for a second and consider that when you don't return a bad product, the corporation that sold you a crappy product is keeping your money in their very stuffed wallets. And I don't support that. I definitely don't support that. So if you're going to make, you know, a self-sacrificial action, such as to throw your money essentially in the trash, make sure it's for a really good reason. And I really do question this, this whole mentality that's going around because... These are the same people that are still telling us to buy more beauty products. If you really do want to self-sacrifice for the environment, stop buying beauty products. You gotta stop it. That's, that's where you gotta stop. So, you know, you gotta think these things through. Something's not, something's not adding up with all this, this, the way that returns are treated. So yes, above anything else, if you can return a product, do it and do not feel bad about it. Alright guys, so now that we've gotten all of our chit chat out of the way, we're going to go ahead and move into the topic of today's video. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to fix bad eyeshadow. I feel like all of us have had this experience, whether it's buying an entire palette that's no good, or just getting a palette that has one disappointing shade in it. So, as an example, I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Some of you might already know where I'm going with this. This is an amazing and gorgeous palette with a purple of disappointment in it. That candied violet shade right here, it looks so darn beautiful, so purple and so pretty. And this is just one of the saddest shades that I have ever seen in my life. There's candied violet, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix this for you. I'm not gonna show you guys what I'm doing just yet. All right, but we are definitely going to address it, so rest assured. All right, so I'm gonna go back into Candy Violet and pick it back up. Here we go. All right, so there we go. Y'all wondering what I just did? Okay, so I feel like it's a fairly established fact that if you use a wet brush, a brush you've dipped in water or sprayed with water to pick up an eyeshadow, you will get a much more vibrant, much more bright color as a result. However, there are some drawbacks to doing that and I will really quickly explain those to you. So if you've ever left a glass of water out on the counter and watched what happens to it over a week or so, it will start to get moldy. That can happen to your eyeshadow if you're using water. You can also end up getting something that's called hard pan, which is where your eyeshadow gets a film over it. And a lot of people don't know there's a really simple fix for that, so don't, don't panic too much if that does happen to you. All you need is a piece of scotch tape. You push it, push it down onto your eyeshadow and it will lift off the outer layer that is giving you problems. The bigger problem is the mold. So, a product that a lot of people are very familiar with is Max Fix Plus. Everybody has talked about this. It is a very, very, very simple formula. It's $23. It's not really overpriced, kind of. <laughs> um, but me being me, I read the ingredients and I couldn't bring myself to buy it. Basically what Max Fix Plus is, is water, glycerin, and some preservatives. Now, 
A lot of people have DIYs out about how to make your own Fix Plus, and I totally, I totally agree with them. I get where they're coming from. Glycerin is a really inexpensive product. It has a ton of uses for it. You know, you don't need to get this quart size. We just happen to be big glycerin fanatics in this household. But you can pick up a small bottle of this for $5 at your drugstore, and it's just, it's great. You can use it for so many things, including to make your own Max Fix Plus DIY version. Um, but my issue when I saw these DIYs is that they're not going to be what's called shelf stable because they don't have any of the preservatives. Water and glycerin alone do not have any preservatives. So if you make up this kind of a solution, it's great, it's going to work, but it's going to go bad. So, you know, you're recommended to keep it in the fridge, throw it out after, I think it was like two or three weeks. So I thought about this and I got to thinking, well, what if you use a hydrating mist that already contains preservatives and to that you add your glycerin and that is exactly what i did i've had this going for a while now this is um just a hydrating mist that i got in i think this was in a beauty fix and i didn't like it as a hydrating mist i didn't think it was enough but it does have preservatives and i emptied out about a third to a fourth of this and substituted that with glycerin mixed this up and I have been incredibly happy with my modified hydrating mist. If you will, that was a two-in-one solution because this was just sitting around. I hadn't thrown it out but I wasn't using it um, and I needed to fix some eyeshadows and that is exactly, this is what I arrived at. I used this today to do this look. This is from the, this is one of the bright pink colors in the Sweet Peach palette made into a more metallic color and I'm really really happy with it. This is a super easy fix not only that, there's more benefits to what you can do once you've made up this solution. One of those is going to be to fix your cream products. So if you've ever had a cream product and it's kind of dried out on you, this can be an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow um, base. That's what this is, uh, a wake eyeshadow base from Sigma. This dried out on me. All I did was pop this open, spritz a couple sprays in and patted it down into it and it has been exactly as new ever since. If you were hoping this video also addresses broken eyeshadows, you just keep on watching because I've got a fix for you too. So this happens to be a powder product. This is actually not an eyeshadow, but I've done this with eyeshadows as well. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I dropped this and it shattered. I pulled out every bit of powder out of this little container and put it into a bowl. And then to that, I mixed some 91% alcohol, just enough to make it kind of thick kind of thick, but still into a way that I could push it down into the product. You don't want it to be super liquidy. That will not do. Um, so then I pushed that down into this, pushed it all the way in, and let it sit for a couple hours. Now I happened to notice that it was, it was um, pretty much absorbing, but it wasn't working as well as I wanted it to. So at the very top layer, I took a little bit of this glycerin that I'm telling you is a product you need and pushed that over the very top of it. Let this sit for about four hours and now I have my Chocolate Soleil back in my life. All right guys, so that covers bad eyeshadows, that covers dried out cream eyeshadows, and that covers shattered eyeshadows. I hope that's everything because in my mind that's all I could come up with. And if you guys notice, the main ingredients that you need are just these two very simple products. So hopefully this is a very cost efficient way to fix some of your beauty products that aren't working out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and hit subscribe because I'm going to do more in this series and hopefully tell you guys how to fix a whole bunch of beauty products that you have just sitting around not being used that you could be using. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.